Hi, welcome back to uh, Nevbo Model Making and uh, as you can see we're going to be doing the uh, Honda RC213V um, It will be the Repsol version but uh, rather than doing this col colourful version which I have actually done before I uh, did it for myself um, we're going to use some uh, detail set from uh, Blue Stuff. Uh, what I've decided to do is do this version. It's a test version for uh, Case Stoner. Um, basically this is what it tells us. It tells us which parts to use, which decals to use from the kit. Um, all the fairings are covered in carbon fibre, which is going to be interesting. Uh, the wheels gloss black and the rest of it is just the uh, aluminium. What do we get in the kit? We get uh, lots of really nice decals. So I'm going to do the 27 roll and markers 93. And uh, these are the grips on the side of the tanks. A little bit of uh, resin. On the back that shows you how to uh, make the grip effect with a needle, a slightly thicker needle, and then you stick them on the tanks as per the instructions. So that's the intention. So we're going to use some of these, some of those, and we'll make it up. So what I thought I'd do, because uh, I'm doing the carbon fiber ring first, is um, make up the fairings and the mud guards and tank and things and start by decaling those and then we'll do the rest of the bodywork uh, after. So uh, that's a, as a quick in introduction uh, to uh, the model. As I was have a quick look at the uh, so it shows all the uh, dark grey, all this is carbon fibre, um, aluminium the wheels as usual. So there are a few um, base of the blank decals from the kit and all the blue ones are from uh, the detail part. Well yeah, that's they look pretty cool. Also what I've uh, done, because I've got this detail upset can hear that but that was thunder got a bit of a storm brewing got this detail upset for the one I did previously um, and uh, there are a few bits and pieces left left in there so what I'll be doing is using some of these to uh, beef the setup and I pinched off the other one as I say it wasn't very good so I don't mind pulling it apart the clutch light so I'll ping that off and the uh, metal front forks and brakes. Um, so that's got a lot of uh, stuff on there. So I'll be using those as well on the uh, on this kit. So uh, what we'll do first is take off and make up all the fairings and work out which bits are carbon fibred. And there is a bit of adapting you need to do uh, to the model. For example, for example, this little bit at the front, that's not on the, the training version, so it'll be fit sanding and filling that. Um, so it's all smooth on the front. And there's a couple of others as well, which I'll point out as I come through. So that's the, the, uh, the plan. And, uh, I'll come back when I've, uh, I think what I'll do, rather than showing you, I'll take these off and build them up and I'll give them a coat of uh, primer and paint. I think I'll do them like a gloss black, a semi-gloss black or something like that before I put the uh, decal, carbon fibre decals on. Give a bit of a background. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, see you in the next bit. Okay, so that's got all the uh, body parts uh, ready for priming. It's got the fairings there. Uh, what I've done is filed off the uh, little nub 
to show where the screw head was because I've got the detailed parts to use. So we're ready to uh, do some priming. So this to the back. I know it's white but you can't really make out the, uh, the joint but it's all filled in nicely. The front of the tank. On here. And I've also uh, canalised the uh, first ones we've got the uh, clutch plates. It's all set there, that's good. Yellow spring. And it's been a bit of uh, detailing up. Let's put these resin parts on the top of uh, the suspension part. Okay, so, uh, so that's where I'm up to. So we've got it primed up. I'm using the uh, you can read it, primer, obviously the grey. And uh, we get that primed up, and uh, we'll give it a coat of probably do semi gloss black uh, all over, and then we'll uh, sort out uh, carbon fibre decolouring these. Okay, back in a minute. Right, just thought I would have a quick look, see where we're up to. And uh, as you can see, I've been busy doing the carbon fiber decals. This is the uh, part of the cowling that's along the bottom of the bike. So this is the front and the back. So this have uh, covered in uh, the carbon fiber, and I've used a clear varnish on it. I've used the uh, X22. I like this. I've used other phones, varnishes and things, but uh, I like that one. So this is giving us a quick coat on that. So I can put the uh, decals on top of the varnish and then we'll give it another coat to, to finish it off. I've done the uh, front cowling. This is all done in one piece. Even the thin part across the front here. Looking very nice. We've done uh, top of the tank. So I love the uh, under badge up there, the rear of the bike. A little bit of the guys on the front there. So this has been uh, varnished. Give a nice shine that. So that's where I'm up to. So I've got quite a lot more uh, of the carbon fibre to do. I've got the main part of the cowling, the Z primed and uh, just painted in semi gloss black. And uh, so what I'll do, there's a little break from uh, doing all the carbon fibre. So I'll do some of the uh, kits. One of the kits, the uh, detail the parts. decals for this version. So these along the bottom at the Honda and uh, various other parts along the bottom. So we'll uh, 
make a start on doing that and uh, come back and show you that and uh, lots more uh, carbon fiber to go on these and we'll start doing the rest of the bike okay so I just thought I'd give you a quick update um, see you in a bit so what I've done here is got the carbon fiber covered a um, couple of coats of uh, clear I've used the X22 Tamiya. I know there's lots of other varnishes uh, and things about the place, but I like that one. Um, did the decals, which are quite simple. The Repsol and uh, RCV or something. So that's on there. Then I give it a, a shiny coat over the top. See what it's like when it dries. And I might give it another coat. Part underneath on there. Someone never noticed before that the Hondas are obviously different sizes, depending on which side you're going. And nice and shiny on the front there with the 27. So I just need to do the uh, screen, a couple of decals on that, and that's done. Uh, I've also done a little bit of detail for to edge parts. Because I had some bits bit left over when I did the last one. So I've got some bits and pieces to put onto those. So that's where we're up to with doing the bodywork. Actually, the first time I've done the uh, fairings and things first, I usually leave them to the end where they uh, come up with the um, and the instructions. But I thought this time, because it's all carbon fibre, I'm doing first. And uh, I think I'll do this in the future with uh, when I'm doing my bikes. So I think it's a good way of doing it, get the uh, all the fairings nice and shiny and then you can do the, the uh, engines and things after which is what we'll be doing in the next bit. So that's where we're up to. Um, so what I need to do with these is I, I've just given them a varnish. This still needs the uh, couple of decals. Some Bridgestone ones on each side and a Repsol one on the front. And there's another base somewhere. Where have you got this one here and this one which is a cover for the other side of the uh, exhaust needs to decal as well so those two to do a couple of top coats and then we're ready to, to move on to doing the rest of the bike which will uh, follow this bit okay see you in the next one 